John, next game on Saturday against uh, Edinburgh. Um, going into that game off a, a really good result um, at Alloa, um, things looking pretty good at the moment. Yeah, off the back of two good wins, uh, still in Albion and then, then Alloa, yeah. Two really good performances, good team performances, everyone playing the part, everyone working extremely hard, playing some exciting football, scoring goals, not conceding too many. Uh, yeah, so we're in a good place. We don't want to get carried away, but we are feeling good about ourselves and we are confident in the way that we're playing There's a, we're still seeking the longer term consistency but that can only be to come by playing you know, game after game after game so we're looking to go to the next game which is Edinburgh as you've said and we're looking to build on that consistency and build on the, the momentum that we're starting to build uh, it'll take another you know, really really good performance Edinburgh will be looking their wounds a little bit and they'll be looking to fight back and try to get their first points on the board of the season and from that point of view, there'll be a, a tricky opposition. They've got players who can hurt you if you're not at it. Uh, so big Russell McLean and Shanley and Offord uh, and his Murray, you know, to name a few who are capable of, you know, scoring a goal and getting a goal and creating opportunities. So we uh, have to respect Edinburgh, uh, have the right attitude. Play with an intensity that we've been playing with, play with pace, play with speed uh, and ability, of course. Uh, make sure that we're switched on at the back, don't give much away and uh, hopefully that uh, we come out on top and continue the good run that we're on, build on it, as I say, build momentum uh, and can go from strength to strength. Well, all, all the signs are looking good. Four games in and um, with the, the, the top scorers, uh, in the league currently as it stands so um, that must be pleasing for your, yourself and Paul to see the team creating all these chances and, and putting them away as well Yeah, absolutely Yeah, No, we've always been an attacking team uh, it seems to be clicking more often in front of goal now we're getting one more clinical you know, one more uh, incisive you know, one more penetrant uh, you know, more penetration in it so yeah, I think it's good to watch I think the fans are enjoying it again you know, a big thank you to the, the fans that came along to to Aloha last Saturday. Uh, you know, great backing from them. It looked like they enjoyed the, the game and enjoyed the, the win. So another journey uh, down to Edinburgh. Uh, not not so long a journey. So it's, uh, it'll be good to see everyone there. It's a, another another away game before we go to uh, air in the Challenge Cup. But we've been doing well uh, away from home as well. So you know, we have nothing to fear. The, the goals are coming from kind of all around the team as well, not just the, the, the strikers up top. Um, but one player I wanted to mention was Reese Walker, who came on against Alawa, um, wasn't on the pitch for long and, and ended up providing an, an assist for all the um, You know, given how maybe thin the squad is, especially with injuries, um, the, the kind of modern apprentices um, going to be able to, to be there to provide that impact throughout the season. Yeah, well, time will tell, obviously. Uh, but it was really good that Reyes got on and made an impact in the game, you know, created a, an opportunity for Ola to score. And it was a really good goal, you know, thrown out from Sam. And, uh, you know, Reyes picks it up. And he's, he's that type of player, actually. He's a very direct player. He, he does get the ball and does carry the ball. You know, he's a ball carrier and he's got good pace. And, of course, Alor are probably getting a little bit tired at that time. So him coming on with fresh legs uh, made an impact, picked to a, a good pass. For Ola. So, yeah, I mean, I think it remains to be seen over the course of time. They are gaining good experience. They're training every day with the first team, which is a, a big step up for them. Uh, they're developing from that point of view. They're developing uh, physically as well. A bit of work to go with somebody like Reese. He's not got the, the biggest stature. Uh, Scotty Honeyman's a little bit, you know, more physically prepared and ready. He's a little bit older. Uh, Logan, again, is probably a little bit more. Uh, stronger, and then we've got Big Owen, uh, yeah, the young goalkeeper playing against Bonerick, who's who's looking the part. We just needs to get game time, uh, you know. So maybe he has to find a loan deal. You know, we need to try and get him a bit out on loan to get to get games for him. But the 
uh, the four of modern apprentices as we have now are, are all doing doing well. Scotty got on for a few minutes uh, out there against Don Albion. So as we pick up injuries, as we have done, then these guys are going to have more and more of a part to play. But at the same time, you know, at the age that they are, they probably need to get more game time and it could well be that if we get a few bodies back, then maybe we can allow them to go out and get some more game time. But we're not just quite at that point yet, you know, because we're... We've obviously brought in late in uh, Bisland and he'll give us more options in defence, but, you know, it's still a sort of scenario of one out, one in, and we've actually got, like, about four out uh, injured. So, more knowing that, you know, position that we could get these guys out and have them playing regular football, you know, every weekend, which they need to do. The big thing is, though, they are training every day with the first team and that in itself will bring them on uh, leaps and bounds. Um, speaking of uh, uh, Leighton, um, that was uh, announced earlier. Um, for maybe those fans that don't know much about him, are you able to to tell us a bit about what we can expect to see from him? Yeah, Leighton's a, a right back who uh, Push could probably go in and play at right centre back as well. He's 19 years of age. He's got 40 sort of first team games under his belt. He's in the second half of last season. He was at Peterhead. He played 14 times for Peterhead, and that's a real good experience. Uh, a tough. You know, job there at Peterhead last year, three goal, three managers. Uh, he went there in the January, had two managers. And I think that's a real good thing for us to get somebody who's gained that experience and a, a real fight that Peterhead had, you know, uh, being at the bottom of the table and having to fight. Uh, he was shown this morning, uh, very early, you know, one, one of the early impressions is he, he looks very good. Uh, Good size, good presence. He also played with County Beath and he has been played with Brecon. So all in all, with these games, forty games under his belt for somebody at nineteen, you know he's got a, a you know a good apprenticeship in there. So he comes to a team who are on the front foot, who are attacking more often than not and uh, creating opportunities. He gives us defensive options now. You know we uh, we've been delighted with with Finn, but we do have the option then to to, to move Finn if we want to do that. It gives us options. Uh, so it's. Uh, a step in the right direction so I'd like to thank everyone at Dundee United uh, Brian Grant in particular for making this happen Rose Stark and obviously Jim Goodwin everyone there at Dundee United we have a good relationship with Dundee United and uh, we thank them once again thank the board for managing to dig up some money to allow us to, to bring in uh, Leighton also uh, And just lastly um, I know that um, a lot of fans have been desperate to hear uh, an update on Calvin Miller's injury situation. Are you able yep. to, to kind of clarify and, and maybe give an update on any other players that are, are nearing a return? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so Calvin had a scan yesterday morning. We got the results back about tea time last night. He's got a tear in his meniscus, which is good news because it's not an ACL. Uh, but nonetheless, he'll still be out for a good few weeks, maybe a couple of months. Uh, so again I hate putting time skills on things because then you're kind of like oh you said this and you said this sometimes guys break down you just never know how long it's going to take but it's a rough guess a rough guide uh, we are in the situation where Rachel or a physiotherapist is going to be speaking to our doctor to see if you go and see a knee specialist just to see if it would need a little tidy up uh, so that that's where we're at but we do think that it'll just be a straightforward rehab situation so Calvin's very happy with that outcome we were all fingers crossed it wasn't going to be an ACL and the season would have been finished so it's not that uh, so it's actually good news so that's good news on that Steve McGinn, Steve McGinn was having a, an exploratory uh, operation this morning in Glasgow with regards to his knee we probably mentioned weeks ago about him trying to build this up well his knee started to lock and it's locked a few times and so we got a scan on his knee. Now, Stephen has, you know, a knee that's, you know, had a lot of wear and tear, it's had an ACL, so the knee is in bad condition. But something's happened more recently that it's been locking. And so the, the surgeon uh, is having a look this morning, going in, hoping they can go in and tidy something up that will get Stephen back playing again, maybe the same type of time scale as Calvin, perhaps. But we'll still find out the result of this operation, you know, that's just happening today. Um, he went in first thing this morning. So we're, we're waiting to hear back how that has actually gone and what the, the outcome will be. Uh, Sean Mackey continues to improve in this, uh, doing his rehabilitation. 
but he's still, you know, probably two or three weeks away. He's not back on the football pitch yet. He's not out running yet. So he's. But with regards to what he's doing, the rehabilitation, uh, again, Rachel's very pleased with him, and he's uh, very much on schedule. Uh, Brad Mackay, Brad picked up an injury uh, after the Cove game, you know. Uh, so it's a kind of hip, groiny injury that's uh, not quite getting to the bottom yet. So there's no real time skill on that. So that's the four guys that are out injured. Uh, you know, it would be nice to get one or two of them back, but there's nothing going to happen imminently, you know. Probably Sean Mackey's going to be the first one to come back. But as I say, that's probably still two or three weeks down the line. John, thanks for the update, and uh, I'll speak to you again after the, the game on Saturday. Thanks, Adam.